Ryan Trahan is the mastermind behind Neptune Bottle, an eco-friendly water bottle business, and Hydra Collective clothing line. From a young age, he was a visionary person. He dropped out of college to give time to his business, Neptune Bottle, and his YouTube channel with a mission in his mind. Hey guys, as you can see by the title, I have to drop out of college. Let me tell you that Neptune is a corporate brand that is socially responsible, fighting with global sea pollution problem. This is just one side of the picture. There is more to Ryan Trahan's life and fame. If you are excited to know his journey, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can be even more familiar with your favorite YouTube influencers. Without further ado, let's get this video started. Welcome to the YouTube Celebrities channel, where it is all about your favorite YouTube content creators. Before directly jumping into Ryan Trahan's YouTube success or life as an athlete, let's run a background check on his life. Ryan was born on the 7th of October 1998 in a small town in Texas called Eagle Lake. He will turn 23 this year. His net worth back in 2020 was around $2 million. Now, one year later, it's even more than $3 million. This guy loves playing football and basketball. He has an account on almost every social media website like Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter, where he loves sharing pictures with his big audience. This next piece of information might break many female fans' hearts, but Ryan Trahan got engaged to Haley Pham. Haley knows we both want to get engaged, but I want it to be a surprise. His fellow YouTuber last year after two years of dating. He went to Rice High School in Altair. Back in the year 2007, he failed his high school dream of becoming a state champion. He was twice the runner-up. Ryan ran in a marathon. Everything had a way to work itself for him. According to him, his life turned out to be a planned out time. When he pursued his passions as a runner, YouTuber, and entrepreneur, things worked out for him just right. It was the biggest risk he took at the time, leaving college, which led him to change pennies into thousands of dollars. Welcome to day three of the Penny Challenge, where I start with a literal cent, one penny, and work my way up. Now, the question is, how long did it take Ryan to become a successful YouTuber? Ryan Trahan started his YouTube channel on the 26th of October, 2013. He first posted a short film called Ariel. Well, this short film was also his first ever video on YouTube. It was basically for a school project, but this video led to his many future success videos with millions of views. Then, Ryan started posting tips on field training as an athlete. How to run a faster mile, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to give you seven tips. He later started creating vlogs. Interestingly, this man created a video on driving a Tesla on autopilot for 24 hours straight. Well, it is his most viewed video on YouTube. The thing about Ryan is that he never gave up. He was so dedicated and driven towards the work that he made videos for his first 2,000 followers with the same effort that he puts into his work now. When he started at the time, his most popular video was My Fastest Mile Time Ever. I'm here in Cedar Park, Texas, getting ready for the Schrader Mile. It's Saturday. My race is here in about two and a half hours. This video had 2,500,000 views. His fans were his continuous support. The reason for this is he likes being active on his social media accounts and replies to his fans' messages and comments. Right now, he has almost 4 million subscribers on YouTube. He was first to make a series of videos on a penny. In that series, he spends his week on pennies. These videos amazed fans and were trending number one on YouTube with millions of views for the first time. So people started getting to know who Ryan Trahan is, and this led to the addition of more subscribers to his channel. He created a video for a fundraiser to raise money and give away food. This won fans' hearts as they found Ryan not only witty, but also a kind-hearted person. Fans often compare him to the most generous YouTuber of all time, Mr. Beast. What do you think? Will he become the few months younger Mr. Beast version? Don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. What led Ryan to NCAA and then YouTubing? Probably you didn't know, Ryan saw his brother play trumpet, and he wanted it too. When he was in sixth grade, he used to come back home from school and practice every night. When he was sure that he was good enough, he started running in his high school as he was ready for another challenge. He saw potential in those things. He was passionate and excited about these activities. When he just started, he had an eight-minute mile. His ultimate goal at that time was to win a state championship and then cross-country championships. He came so far, however, Ryan didn't win. He was the second runner-up with 415 miles. He went to college and started practicing for cross-country, but then again, he had his doubts. 
he wasn't sure if running or college was his destiny. At that time, he had 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. He was making videos and getting quite a nice response, earning just a few bucks, but he was determined to prosper. He eventually decided to drop out of college to give his 100% to YouTube. He thought YouTube was his thing. Well, it turns out this was one of the best decisions of his life. It's worth noting that Ryan believes that YouTube is a huge part of his identity now and he will keep on striving for excellence. In high school, he started the Neptune bottle business with his friend Caden. They always wanted to start a venture together and this is how Neptune was founded. They started selling bottles at the school and while selling those to students, he felt like he was selling drugs in between classes as they were hiding this business activity from teachers. He and Caden sell 200 out of 1,000 bottles at the school and then they used to knock door to door around the town to sell some more bottles. He wanted to reach a larger audience for this purpose, which was another reason for the creation of his YouTube channel. Running was Ryan's passion. He was super excited to be financially independent, paying for his rent and groceries as he went to college. Then he got a call from NCAA advisor, who no longer could tolerate the ventures Trahan was running and earning revenue from his Neptune business and his YouTube channel. They gave him an ultimatum that he cannot use his image of an NCAA player and his likeness by the fans and continue making money from his ventures. They gave him some alternative options that could help him continue his passion as a runner, YouTuber, and co-founder of Neptune. They asked him to stop talking about running and being an NCAA runner on his channel and act like a normal college kid who does nothing. At that time, it was NCAA or YouTube for him. He chose YouTube and dropped out of college. Would you hesitate yourself? How can you become the next Ryan Trahan? Now that you guys have heard a lot about Ryan and his success, there are probably some of you who would also love to be successful like him. Now I'm going to share some tips and tricks which can help you to expand your own YouTube channel subscriber family. When you are starting from the bottom, you definitely cannot invest so much money into videos like other YouTuber Airac did. Check out our video about him. Ryan is liked for his creativity, witty personality, and kindness for example. In the penny video series that he made, he didn't use more than a penny. It's all about what you can do within your boundaries. Try coming up with unique ideas of your own. If you think that you have a nice sense of humor and you can make people laugh, you should definitely give it a try. Build up the library with your videos so other YouTubers and brands can see the potential in your work. As a result, they would cross-pollinate with you. It means that you guys will work together and your viewers will get to know about themselves and their viewers will get to know about you. This may bring sponsorships your way and affiliate marketing too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below about which celebrity you want to see next. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now and turn on notifications so you will be notified each time we upload a new video. And while you are here, click to watch one of these appearing on your screen right now. I will see you there. Thank you for watching, take care, and stay tuned.